Hey guys, about to play round two of a Battle for Zendikar draft. We would like to play first. And I think this hand's a keep. It's not the fastest hand ever, but... And our Titan's Presence is a dud until we draw another colorless creature. It's kind of a non-bow with Silent Skimmer, but I think I'm okay with it. Dampening Pulse and Silent Skimmer are both pretty good. We're on the play, so it's not, like, super important that we, uh, you know, curve out or something. Um, this format in general, it's not super important. So we do have two of our colors, although we don't have blue for a Dampening Pulse, so... But blue is our most common color in our deck, so we're pretty likely to draw it. I'm going to lead with Mortuary Mire. All right, we got our blue, um, which seemed likely. I'm going to hold on to Looming Spires for now, since we're not in like a situation where if we don't hit a... We don't have to have a land untapped on like turn four. I mean, we do, but we don't. Ha we have others, is my point. So it's not the end of the world. Right, allies is a good matchup when you have dampening pulse in your hand. Ooh, drawing sky spawner there is pretty sweet. I could hold on to it for Titan's presence, but I think that's a little too cute, and we just want to spawner at this point. We're gonna draw other colorless creatures, right? I mean, our deck has a lot of them, so I don't think we need to be worrying about that. We'll just take two here. All right, Valakut Predator. That thing is a problem. It'd be nice to draw a creature for Titan's Presence. If we don't, we play Dampening Pulse. Okay, we did draw a creature. Um, I think we drop Looming Spires here. Swing on the ground with our Scion. I mean, he's not going to block, most likely. Um, and then we hold up Titan's Presence to kill that thing, like in response to him playing a land or whatever. I decided to put it there to just at least give him the option of blocking. Um, didn't really think he would, and he doesn't. But yeah, I think it's probably better to hold on to Titan's presence now that we have a, we have a board presence. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do here. In response to him playing a land. So we're going to go Titan's presence, cast, choose that creature, and reveal Eldrazi Sky Spawner. So that gives us a card in exile too, which is relevant in our deck. Um, so we'll take two. See if our opponent has like a Grove Rumbler. Would not be cool if he does, but we could deal. Okay, another Valakut Predator. So I'm glad I killed the other one, I guess. Okay, uh, we're swinging the air for sure. I think dropping Dampening Pulse here is pretty good. Um, you go a more aggressive route, though, I guess. I guess playing Silent Skimmer is also pretty good, though. So that's what we're going to do. Next turn, uh, I mean, we can block the Valka Predator even if he has a land if we play Dampening Pulse. Um, but we've got four in the air coming at him, and we can just chump the Reckless. No, it's not even a chump because we're not going to lose our creature. We're just going to block the, the Reckless dude and take four and go to 12 here. So we're up against red, green, land, fall. And that deck, you know, depending on how good it is, is kind of how many Valka Predators you get, it seems like. Vestige of Emra, cool, all right. Well, weakening his creatures is going to be pretty nice. Ooh, Bone Splinters is also pretty nice. Um, yeah, especially because we have another Sky Spawner. I think that's what we do now is just play Sky Spawner. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to swing in the air. Drops him to 10. Um, would we rather get rid of the vestige or the Valakut thing? Uh, I don't know. We're going to play our second sky spawner f first, which gives us six in the air, which is not irrelevant. Um, and then I think we Bone Splinters, the dude with Trample. Because even if, he has to hit a land to even be able to have a good swing here. Um, so I think that's right. I think it's, we're cool with Bone splinters -ing like that. And hopefully finishing our opponent in the air in the near future. If he has a land here, we probably just take eight. Uh, I mean, not eight. We drop to eight. 
right? That's what we want to see. I'll trade with... If he wants to swing, I'll trade here uh, for a combat trick or for whatever. All right. That's nice. Snapping Gnarlet, okay. Our Dampening Pulse is going to be pretty nice against this board. That's for sure. Didn't really want to land there, but hey, what are you going to do? We'll play our Pulse. Which is pretty nice. Like I said, if he plays a land, he can swing at us for five. Um, and we're not attacking with our Scion anyway. So I think it's okay to attack in the air. And we will end our turn there. If he doesn't draw land, he can only hit us for three, so that's even better. I think we just take this three. We leave the Scion back to block at a time when it's better, like when we need to block. All right, drawing that is also nice. I kind of forgot he's in our deck since he's kind of a reject from someone else's deck. The guy we played in the first round would have liked the Malakir Familiar. We just didn't have one. Uh, he just didn't have one. And we didn't get ours either. So, yeah, we'll play our Malakir Familiar. And it's just lethal in the air from three different creatures. Um, even with the land here. Uh, though to be safe, it probably right to block here. Although, is there anything that can give Trample in this format? I don't know if there is, really. Okay, to Drew Beastmaster, that's still not enough to kill us. So... I'm happy to have that information, though. That he has that. All right, so we do have to block now, which we wouldn't have had to before. We don't even have to block there, but I'm going to just because. Just um, he's tapped out, so we win in the air. All right, so we swing away. And we get the win in the air. Got a bunch of red that game and never needed it. So a little different than what we've seen in the other games. Although we got red, the touch of the void was pretty important in us. Although in the end, it ended up not being actually in the second game of the last round because we had, um, we drew a land and had our menace guy in play. So it didn't really matter. Boiling Earth doesn't seem amazing. Kozilek Sentinel would be. It blocks these things so well. Like, if I bring those in, I need to cut some other stuff and cut some lands. Like, a fair number of lands. Um, it's worth thinking about, just because they block so well all of his creatures. Um, well, not all of them, but the Snapping Gnarlid and stuff like that. Um, but I definitely would need, like, s at least six mountains. I don't know if I can swing that. Like, what would I cut? Yeah, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Good blockers are nice, but... God, I want it in here so bad, though, at the same time. I mean, I guess I could cut, like, Geyser Field Stalker. I can feel like I'm going to end up regretting this. Uh, Oracle of Dust blocks his dudes pretty well, too, so I think I'll leave that in. Definitely even Dampening Pulse. Um, Ruination Guide, of course. Swarm Surge will be even better if we have Kozilek Sentinel in our deck, so I think we leave that in. Like, the card that's on the lower end of power level here is probably Bone Splinters, but it's not a bad card at all against him, so. Although, if you have more blockers, it can block his early things. Maybe that's better. And then we can cut, like, ugh, we're going to have, yeah, cut one Swamp, one Island, and add two Mountains. It's a little iffy. It is a little iffy. Um, but we're going to go for it, so. Five red sources. Mm, see what happens. <laughs> Maybe we side them out if we get frustrated and lose this game. But the Kozilek Sentinels are just so good against him that it's hard not to try to shove them into my deck here. So we'll see what happens. Okay, well... 
This is an interesting one. I think it's probably a keep. Although we have one card that we have, has two colors that we have no lands for. But we have an earlier carrier thrall. We have a complete disregard. Our opponent mulligan two, though. So maybe I should take that into consideration. Yeah, I think I'll mulligan two. Let's go for it. All right, much better. So I'm happy I mulliganed. So this is a keeper. Red on top of our library would be ideal. Um, do I want that land? I think I'm fine with that land. We have enough early plays that we don't have to draw like spells. I think we just play Sunken Hollow in turn one. Okay, Scythe Leopard. Now I'm even gladder I sighted in Kozilek Sentinels. Not that we could target it, counter it, play it. That's what I'm trying to say right now. <laughs> so we'll play our Carrier Thrall, which can block this thing pretty well. Um, I don't think Scythe Leopard's especially good in the uh, limited. Um, I know it's like a house in Constructed where you can run like 12 fetch lands, but, you know, this is not Constructed, as you know. So Snapping Gnarlids here, too, to play. Um, yeah, so we're going to drop our Carrier Thrall. Block. We can get it back with Mortuary Mire, which isn't awful, but probably not what I want to do. He's got Blighted Woodland, so he can get, like, huge landfall triggers. Um, we definitely trade with Scythe Leopard if he wants to swing here. Getting us into our Conduit of Ruin range is pretty ideal for us, so. Yeah, we'll block, we'll block the Scythe Leopard. It's a pretty good trade, I think. There's the Sentinel, which we had red mana for it. Um, I think it's probably right to play Sky Spawner here. Um, I'm going to attack. Question is whether, like, if I don't draw a land, I won't be able to play um, my Silent Skimmer next turn or anything else. But I think it's better to go with this play than it is with... Uh, waiting a turn and then knowing i'll be able to play silent skimmer that turn for sure so sky spawner is pretty good it led us to victory in game one so we'll take three here if he plays a land and he does so we will take three see if he's got any more action in his hand kind of hoping he kind of hoping he doesn't we can play our conduit of ruin soon and we can actually play it this turn if we want to um if we draw a land which is a huge if, I realize. Um, hey, we drew a land, but it's another one that comes into play tapped. Um, I think I play it, though. Um, I think I do play Silent Skimmer this turn, because I can with my Scions. So that's probably what I'll do here. Swing in the air. And then Silent Skimmer comes on board. If we can get this 5-5 five five out there, he's not going to have nearly as many good attacks. Um, can he crack this? Just He can crack it now, unfortunately. Mm, that is bad. So if we block here, we force him to spend his whole turn cracking that. So I guess, I guess that's what I'm going to do here. I know he can do it. He probably thinks he's getting me, but... I think making sure, like, taking five here is worse, I think. And we make him crack it, like, you know, in a way we know he's going to crack it and not in, like, a really deadly way. He does get to take that card out, of course, but. Another Looming Spires, huh? So we're getting all of our comes into play tap plans. Which isn't ideal right now, but we do have a Kozilek Sentinel, who is a Sentinel indeed. Um, we're going to pump our Sky Spawner. Um, I think we just get in with that. Leave these back to block. Obviously, I leave back the Kozilek Sentinel because I don't have a choice. If we can keep our Scion alive, we can play Conduit of Ruin next turn. So, that seems pretty good. Uh, 
If we draw a land, ooh, I like him playing that. That's usually a good sign. Ooh, Goblin War Paint. <laughs> it does actually make it better than it should be. All right. I think we block. Um, hmm. Yeah, that, that actually is pretty good right now. I mean, you know, I wouldn't normally recommend playing that, but here it's pretty good. Um... I think we block this too, unfortunately for us. Our Sentinel survives, so at least there's that. He's pumping that, so drops us to three, which is really bad for us. Ooh, what are we gonna draw? That's what it's gonna come down to here, and the answer is basically nothing. Um, we're not dead yet though. I'm glad we drew a land actually, because then we wouldn't have been able to play our Conduit. We don't have any of his cards exiled, which is unfortunate. So it makes our Ruin Processor less good, but Ruin Processor will lock down the board, or not lock down the board, but make the board a lot more attractive for us um, than it would be otherwise. Um, and right now, the Conduit actually does a pretty good job. Um, so pretty happy with that. Ugh. got to block everything so that's all he wants to attack with interesting um he can pump it to kill our dude and right now our kozilek sentinel is a way better blocker so we're just going to chump all right does that make us dead next turn basically we have ruin processor on top but we can only play three blockers, and they all have... Oh, he has to get a land. If he doesn't get a land, we can live another turn. So at least there's that. Um, will Mortuary Mire do us a lot of good right now? I guess being able to get Eldrazi Sky Spawner would buy us even more time, like guaranteed. So I think I'm going to go for that. Um, yeah. We will. It'll buy us more time in coming turns. Um, which we won't have otherwise. Uh, if he draws a land here, we're just dead because this will kill us. Or uh, the Snapping Gnarlet will kill us. A little more time, but we're going to drop to one on an Alpha Strike. If he has removal, we're also dead. So, okay. Interesting. He's putting all his mana into that. Which is not even enough to kill our Ruin Processor, so I'm okay with that. Oh... <laughs> that'll work not the again i'm not a, i would not condone uh running uh lava step raider or goblin war paint but it came together for our opponent in that game so yeah we lose all right on to game three i think we did fine with what we sideboarded in the sentinel did was a problem for him so that's all we were looking for is to create a problem make it harder on his attackers and it, it does so his Gnarlid couldn't really do anything after we played it. Um, yep, I think we leave things as they are. Even though we lost game two, you know, after sideboard, uh, we lost to some pretty pretty silly stuff from our opponent. So, If only we'd had a card to process. We didn't, though. We didn't get any of our guys within Jest or Touch of the Void or <laughs> so forth. And uh, Yeah, this is a keep. We don't have blue, which is our primary color, so it's likely we drop. But we also have no blue cards, and we have two good removal spells and a silent skimmer. I mean, the the swarm surge is kind of nothing right now um, because we just don't have a good hand for it. But I think I'm okay with it. We'll lead with Mortuary Mire. Now if we get our Ruin Processor, we'll actually gain some life, So, since we'll have complete disregarded something. Um... I think for now it's okay. I mean, we'll have to play... Uh, we'll play Looming Spires now. We want to have complete disregard up next turn if we can. I think. All right, nothing from him sounds pretty good. Ooh, there's the blue, too. All right. Well, we leave complete disregard up. Chances are we complete disregard something at the end of his turn and then play Silent Skimmer. Especially if it's a Valakut Predator, and it is. We definitely want to complete disregard that thing. I would like to disregard that. All right, more lands. Uh, not exactly what we want, but 
you know, we'll take them, I guess. We do have some high curve cards. And we can Demon's Grasp, another problem creature this turn if we deem it necessary. That's a pretty big problem. It can swing through our dude. Carrier Thrall's pretty nice, though. Um, I think we probably go with the Grasp, though, here. Take our opponent down to 18. We'd like exert influence against this guy. Um, we can only steal his three power things, but ooh, that's not good for him. Um, of course, we're getting mana flooded. Maybe he is too. I mean, he has plenty of lands, so I'm not sure what his issue is. He may have a spell. He may have a turn against or something, I guess, but... When I only have one creature in play, there's no reason to leave that up. Um, that is something to potentially want to play around, though, um, on future turns. Something to think about. He doesn't have blue, which is... Ah, okay. He's running Natural Connection, so he's going to ramp into something, which we don't really want to see, but hey. Such is life. Okay, well... That's not really ramped into. If you're putting Goblin War Paint on it, I'm okay with that this time around. <laughs> Last time it was a much different board state where that was a problem. Now it's not much of a problem. Um, we can swing back for four. Um, and if he wants to pump man into it every turn, he has three cards in his hand now. So it's not nearly as good as it was previously. So we will take it. We don't want a Scion right now. It doesn't do us much good. Malak, your familiar does though. So we'll do this. Dropping into 12. We'll play out our Malakir familiar. Zerd Influence would be good against this guy when he was tapped out. It would have been a sweet top deck right there. Oh, but we didn't get it. So, But that's okay. We're swinging for six-ish a turn, and we have Swarm Surge to finish him. I mean, if he swings here and doesn't play a blocker and has no removal, we actually just win next turn. So... <laughs> I mean, those are all pretty big requirements, I realize, but uh, we're getting close. Especially if he doesn't have removal, and that is not removal, so. Boiling Earth. That's something right now. It does kill our Malakir familiar, too. It's called Boiling Earth. What a flavor fail that it can kill our Malakir familiar. Frustrating. We need to draw well now because that Boiling Earth did a number on us. Um, we'll just take this. Ooh, Fathom Feeder, not bad. Kind of like a crappy version of... Uh, or Well, not crappy at all, actually. Especially because we can play it and use it to draw a card right now and trade for a dude. Seems all right, you know? Especially a dude that's two cards. So, Actually, we don't have more blue mana, so we can't do, but do that. Unfortunately, I thought we had more mana. Um, the thing to do still may just be to take damage here. Because um, we can swing for two, three, four, and then add two to all of that. That's, no, it's just... Uh, yeah, I mean, if he swings here, we can swing for lethal, but he played a blocker. So it's not really an option anymore. Outnumber, okay. Well, our opponent is hitting the removal he needs, so we are in trouble. Since we cannot seem to draw what we need. Uh, do we take six here? We take more than six if we don't block. I kind of feel like we need to block. So we'll just drop to 11. We're going to start leaving our Silent Skimmer back, who can at least block all these dudes. Oh, thank God for that. Although... <laughs> It actually can't kill anything really right now. So, not real thankful. Um, if we can swing, let's see. He swings back at us for seven, and then eight, nine. He can hit us for nine, ten if he has a land. It's pretty tempting to try to, to swing here, drop him to eight, and then next turn, no, that won't work. He'll drop to one life like that. So I think it's probably best to touch of the void something here, unfortunately. So we'll hit the only thing we can, which is the Scythe Leopard. Unfortunately, 
the other stuff is out of range for us. Um, and we can block one of these guys, probably the Balakut uh, Vestige, Vestige of Emrakul. Ugh. All these lands. We can play our 7-8 guy who can gain us 5 life the minute we draw him, which is good news. Okay, he's pumping him. And which we figured he would. He may pump him twice. Ugh. He can. Um, I feel like we're dead either way. Like, unless we draw removal for this card or unless we draw... Ooh. We are dead. No, we're not. Not quite. But we are at three. Uh, so we're basically dead. <laughs> uh, what can save us other than our 7-8? Uh, nope. Not going to get it done. So we lost. Kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> we lost a freaking Lava Step Raider plus Goblin War Paint two games in a row, which, again, I don't recommend you do, even though it was effective against me. Um, if we'd ever had removal that could actually do something, it would have been a bad two-for-one for our opponent. Um, neither of those cards especially playable. Uh, but our opponent has just enough to finish us, and we just couldn't draw what we needed. And when we did, our opponent had removal for it every time. So that was brutal. Hopefully in round three we do a little better. Um, thanks for watching.